Welcome back. In this tutorial, we will do index locator. In the previous recordings, we have done this element locator methods. In element locator methods, all of these methods that you see here, we have done with the simulation. Kindly watch them. In case of doubts, you please post them in the comment section. So today we'll be doing, uh, in this recording, we'll be doing index locator. The name itself is saying that index, we are going to find, uh, depending upon the given expression, where that particular, uh, if given expression is satisfied, where is the index? That index we are going to identify. For example, if you see here, This index locator. These are the four methods that we have. So what it does, first one, find underscore index, returns the indexes of all elements satisfying the given expression. So it is going to return all those indexes which satisfies this given expression. So likewise, what it does, this one, the name itself is suggesting it, it returns only the first index which satisfies the given expression. This one is, as I said, na name itself is suggesting it returns the last index based on the given expression. And this is going to return unique indexes. So let us see with examples. So here we have one. complex array generation with the help of this class. Class is a like composite data type. It is having here a uh, two bit data type, right? One is color type. So the, the, with the help of this, we are generating the complex array. Okay. So here in this module, array underscore gen this we already had seen in element locator while we discussed element locator the previous recordings uh, you can see this is array underscore gen is a uh, function call that we are making here you can see this is the that that array underscore gen function wherein we are generating this complex array with the help of this randomized function this is applicable for uh, on, on class, uh, you know, data type. So this randomized function here, TR is a class handle. We are creating the uh, memory for that with the help of new method. This we have discussed what is new method, why memory is required, what it is doing, what is assert, everything in the previous recordings are there. Kindly watch them in case of doubts, you post them in comment section. Here, this array underscore gen, this function is generating complex arrays here. Now, what is that we are doing after generating the complex array? We are making this function call, that is find underscore index method. So find underscore index. So find underscore index, if you see here, in this, what we are doing here is this tr underscore assoc, that is associated abbreviation, underscore arr. This is a variable. This is a class variable. So class variable, what I mean is, if you see here, This one, tr underscore assoc underscore ar is a handle that is a variable uh, for this class type. Class is a data type, right? For the this variable, this variable is what we call in in term in case of classes we call it as a handle. So this is a handle for of type this class, and this handle is of type associative array because if you see this one here 
we had another data type within the square brackets. If that's the case, then that is the associative array. So now this associative array is of type class. And uh, this associative array indexes are of type int. So indexes are of type int data type. So here what we are doing here. So we are finding whatever uh, the index, some variables we are assigning here. If you see we are generating, we are randomizing this tr handle. It means uh, we randomized all of this, uh, all of these data members. And uh, after randomization, whatever been generated, that we are sending to this uh, index in the uh, associative array. This is the associative array of type class. So since this is the TR, the class data type, so that we are assigning to the class data type itself. But this class data type, here this handle is of type associative array. So that's why here we are having this three. The, because that uh, associative array uh, index of type int, that's why we are assigning, I mean, keeping three, five like that. So like that, we are randomizing how many times here? This is one time, this is the second time, and this is the third time here. And then this is the fourth and fifth time. Every time, whenever we randomize, we are also assigning to some indexes here. See, 3, 5, 8, 11, and then 15. Now what we are doing here in find index, we are trying to find the index uh, that is in there in this tr underscore assoc underscore arr with the help of find index method. What it does, it sees this expression. Item colors equal to red. No, I mean, comparing it is double equal. Red. So in that associative array, whatever uh, the elements are there in those elements if there is a this uh, particularly this uh, color uh, is if matching with the red at, at which index it is those indexes will be returned to this idx underscore q for example here if you see this is this entire thing is stored where it is stored it is stored here right first when we have randomized we are keeping all of them here in this tr underscore as was underscore ar the index is three there where we are keeping this tr uh, like tr uh, after randomizing it has got some uh, elements those elements are of composite type. This, these are the elements. Them it is keeping at this index. Likewise, everywhere, whenever we are randomizing, we are doing that the same thing. So what it is doing here? This any element matching with the this red. Then where it is the index? That index it is returning to this idx underscore q idx underscore q is a q data type q is a like system with like q we have discussed so this is a bound unbounded uh here unbounded q so we are sending that one into uh, this index underscore q all of those indexes will be written all of those means this is one it will be there at one index right that one uh, that particular index this again second match is occurring then third match is occurring all of these indexes will be returned to this idx underscore q now if you see this how many are there three right total three so this dot size what it does 
how many elements are there in this idx underscore q, the size will be returning to this q size. Q size is a int data type. So we print out that. Now, here, this idx, from this idx, pop front, we are reading out now. The first index we will read out. And that rate out index value is assigned to this idx. idx, if you see here, this idx variable is of integer type. So we are just keeping the indexes. So first index is 3. Because here if you see, this is the first index, 3. So that is returned here. So this will print that one. So how long? This loop will continue as many indexes it has stored. That's why here if you see this Q size, like this Q size we're comparing with that. We're starting with zero, less than this Q size. Then all of them it will read out and those indexes will be printed out. So here, what we are doing this this idx when we did this pop friend the particular index will be assigned to this idx this idx here tr underscore assoc underscore ar and then this particular index value will be here let's say for example it's three then dot print this print function is called from where it is called from this handle this handle belongs to whom? The class. This class. Here, yeah, this class. In this class, we have this method. As I said in the previous videos, method can be a function or a task. So here, in this case, it is a function. So this print will be called. When it is called, then uh, this will be happening. This display statement. If this display statement is happening, then this will be printed out. So at that particular index, whatever it has stored, all of these values will be printed out. Here, yeah, that's how it is happening, this first index method. And then here, this is a single uh, expression. Here we have multiple uh, conditions here. Item uh, here compared item is data. So the data is equal to three and also the color must be red. The, if this condition is satisfied, the of that particular where that index is, that index is returned to this idx underscore q. The same thing here again. This size is assigned and that will be printed out like that. So we'll see with demonstration this one. Now, now if I explain this output, here if you see, this is a generated uh, array, complex array, right? So in this, if you see this red, here at three indexes, it is available. So total how many indexes have gone inside this uh, idx underscore q3. So then dot size, what it will return? It will return the three. So that's why this first statement output will be three. So number of indexes having color item red equal to three. So that is done this one. Now, pop friend, this one. Each time it, it is going to uh, read that one, that index and send to that idx. So if you see here, this first one, uh, first generated randomized is sent to this index three, next index five, next index eight. So what is expected here is while you print, this is index three, index five, index eight. At those places, this randomized water, whatever being generated now, that will be stored, right? Now, the last one, 
this is multiple conditions. We are comparing here data item. This data item is is equal to, I mean, we are comparing with three, must be three, and it, it is less than or equal to red. So let us see here in generated, which one is data. Data, if you see here, first two are not matching because data is seven here. If you see here, it is matching. This is red and this is uh, data is three. So if that happens, then what we are doing, we are returning that index here, of that index. Of that index means here, if you see that is the third one, right? First one, second one, third one. It is at index eight. So here it is at index eight. And that is one, that one is printed. So this print is happening because of this print function part. So that is about find index. Now, similarly find first index method. First index method, what it does, wherever this match occurs the very first time, of that index it will return. So here in this case, this is the first match occurring. So first match occurring is, this is the first when we first randomized it. So that is at uh, index three. So index three means here if you go, this is the first index, right? So here, this one, when it is printing the index, it must be printing the three. Let us complete uh, this one also. Here, data is greater than or equal. This condition is similar to the above one. Uh, here we have seen in the find index, this condition. So this same condition here. So that is happening only at the, uh, this one, one, two, three. This one, third, third means, one, two, three, that is that index eight. So index three and in index eight must be printed out. Mm -hmm. Here it is, first index is three. And uh, I made some mistake here in this. Let's see what was that. First index with this data must be uh, three and the color must be less than or equal to this red. So in that case, uh, first index, this condition should meet. So if we go to this one, this is not meeting. And then this is the only one that is meeting. That is meeting, but uh, this assignment happened here. So this. This one. Oh, I made a mistake here. This is the condition, if you see, this condition is that similar to this one. Yeah, here is the condition is different. It is data item is equal to three, but here in this case, it is greater than or equal to three. So greater than means the very first one itself is satisfying this data. So this first one is at index three. So then that is correct. This is correct. So I repeat this one, the condition I took it wrong. I thought it's the, I mean the same, the way we did here. The, if you see this condition is double equal. That is, it, it must be equal to three. But here it is greater than or equal to three. All right. So in that case, that is the first, uh, I mean, at index three. 
So index three means this first generated. This first generated, we are assigning to index three. This is the index. So that way, this first to find index um, is correct. Then find last index. So this is just opposite to the, uh, I mean, just about what we had discussed. This is the find first index. This is the last index. This condition satisfying. Where it is satisfying? The first one. First one, if you see in the generated one, here it is. And here it is. Third one. The third one means here to which index we are assigning? To eight index. Index eight. So index eight means here in the last here we are supposed to be having index eight. That is correct. Next is this condition. This condition is uh, very first one satisfying, right? It's greater than uh, three and it is less than or equal to three. So the very first one is satisfying. Very first one we are assigning to this index three. So here it must be index three. That is of this output index. This is the last, this is the last index. Last index means this one. In the generated, this is, uh, this one it is. It is this one because the condition is, last index condition is here. It must be greater than or equal to the greater than. So greater than means the second one. Data item is greater than or equal to three. So this is the second one. And color is red. Second one to which index we are assigning here. First one, this is the second one, but we are assigning to index five. We got the result. Last, again, I'm making mistake. I'm extremely sorry about that. So I'll clarify, this is the last that uh, we had to see, uh, the, it should make this condition and it must be the last uh, among the available there, in the, uh, I mean elements. See here data is greater than or equal to three, okay? Data must be greater than or equal to three. Data must be greater than or equal to three. Data must be greater than or equal to 3 and the color must be red. Greater than or equal to 3. This is greater than, but this is first. This is also, I mean, then the second one. But what is satisfying the last, this, this one is satisfying and it is last among the satis uh, satisfying. Like if you see data is 3, greater than or equal to it is said. So it is equal to 3. And this is color is red. If you consider this one, this is not the last. If you consider this one, this is not the last. Of course, conditions are met here because it's a greater than or equal to three. The first one itself is satisfying. But the method that we are using is find last. Uh, this is the find last index. Find last index. So it must be last index. So last index means this one is perfectly satisfying that is data is equal to three in the condition it is there and the color is red so this third one means here this is the index eight to index eight we are assigning so in the result here this is the last index is eight so that is the output now finally we have this unique uh, index the unique index index we already discussed here taken is array in this array if we go to this section this is static here it is fixed and the unique means here this is repeated twice so that will be eliminated. Rest of the uh, 
elements will be there and in ascending order it will be arranging so let us see that one Make see here but here also some action is required because it is started with 0 1 2 3 4 5 so let's see the definition of this unique in this context that is uh, index locator okay i am extremely sorry it's, it is i thought it is uh, element locator so those elements i was saying so it is indexes right indexes means here if you go here uh, go here. Let's start again. This is the so let's copy that one. Here, let us arrange them first. First, first element is 2, then the 3, then 4, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, 6, after 6, 9, then 10. Because this 6 has been repeated. So, will not be taken it is arranging actually in a ascending order so here two three four five six nine then ten so if you see the index start from zero and then this is one This is at one, this is at two, this is at uh, three, this is at four, this is at five, then this is at six. So we're supposed to be having zero, one, two, three, till the six. So let's see that. Yes. So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this is zero, one, two, three, four, five. But this one we are getting um, seven. So that is because, uh, let me put again. That is because, I'll just write down here, five, six, elements I'm writing down, five, six, nine, two, three, four, and then six, and then 10. So let's come down, let's put the indexes here. Um, this is zero. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six, this is seven, right? Now, when it is going to take the unique, since six been repeated, that particular one will not be considered. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, the index is not unique. So seven indices in it. So that's how it is. So this is index method, not the element method. So I thought earlier this is uh, this is supposed to be the output because in ascending order like two, three, four, then five, six, nine, then ten. 
this eliminating one six that we did in uh, element uh, locator method. This unique uh, there also it has come, but that is for unique uh, element. But here it is for unique index. So if you put this indexes here like this, right down here, this is index, and these are elements. Right, these are the elements and this is, and these are the indexes. So uh, zero, one, two, three, four, five, okay, but sixth index not required to take because this has been covered at one first index itself. So uh, this is eliminated. Unique means that only seven this seventh is take considered because at the seventh we have separate, uh, I mean, different element. If it would have been three, let's say, then uh, it is not considered because three already uh, came at index four. So like that. So this unique index, uh, here if you see, this is unique index in the index locator. It has come unique in element locator methods as well. If you see here, this unique, this is just unique. That is having unique, unique underscore index. This finds elements. Simply unique will find elements. Unique, unique underscore index will find the indexes. So here you can see this unique has got unique has got underscore index. By the way, every every Method has got uh, like index at the end because this find method has come here as well. If you see this find, find first, find loss has come here. If you append here underscore index, then it is it is becoming index locator, index uh, locator methods, rather element locator methods. Find underscore index find underscore first underscore index, find underscore last underscore index, unique under, underscore index. <laughs> so I think that is clear about this unique. This is about that array, which is a static, but what about this one here? This complex array. In this complex array, the item that we are comparing here is address. So in address, address, what is unique if you see that particular unique uh, one is sent to this uh, uh, idx underscore q. So let's go to this generated array. In that address must be unique. So this will be sent because one time it is generated address. This, this also will be sent index. This index also will be sent, but this will not be sent because this address two has come already. And the five will be sent. So in the first index, second, third index, fourth will not be sent, fifth will be sent. So it means here first, second, third index, fourth will not be sent, this will be sent. So let us see in the output here. So index 3, index 5, index 8, index 15, perfect. So that's how, and coming to this paint, I already discussed, this is happening with the help of this one. All right, still if you have doubts, post them in comment section, this one. So that is how uh, this locator methods are working. So we have basically done with this, um, uh, locator methods you kind of go through this uh, theoretical stuff here methods having mandatory and optional with class see in element locator find find underscore first find underscore lost with them uh, it is mandatory to have with whereas in element locator in element locator methods we have seen this unique method min method max method 
So with them, this width is uh, optional. You can check out the uh, examples. Whereas in index locator, we have this find index, uh, find first index, find last index. So whatever in element locator uh, to whom it is mandatory, these methods to, to these methods with clause is mandatory. To the same methods here, as I said, only uh, here some you can see a underscore index been appended. Basically, they are, uh, you know, kind of similar. Easily you can remember. With them, this with class is ma mandatory. Whereas here, unique underscore index with that with class is not compulsory. So that is one thing that we have to keep in mind. This with class means here we are, we are using now this with. So in case of unique underscore index, without this also, we can work like the way here it is demonstrated. But whereas with find index, uh, here this find last, this width is compulsory. With this compulsory, without width, we cannot work. That's what it is basically saying. So we have done with These array manipulation methods. We have locator methods. In locator methods, we have two element locator and index locator. So we have completed this completely array locator methods. So next uh, video recording, we will see this array ordering methods. Uh, remaining things we will see. If possible, in one video, we'll cover all of them else two sessions are required here two recordings are required here to cover this array ordering methods array induction methods iterator index querying so this will take maybe two recordings okay and uh, yeah so kindly uh, uh, post if you have any doubts in comment section definitely i will reply there Thank you. Oh, I forgot to demonstrate here actually. Before I wrap this, I have to demonstrate this index locator method. Let's copy this one. Copy. Go to EDA Playground here. Control V. So this is basically for generating the complex array and calling those methods generate for generating complex uh, array and uh, find index, find first index. These methods have been called here. So let's go here. Let's copy this um, functions that we're calling. So this is array underscore gen. So I'll keep a file separately. Array underscore gen dot sv. And then paste it here. And then this method find index. Find index find underscore index dot sv control v find first index find first index not SV. Similarly, we have find last index. This one. And just for last index dot SV. This is 
last index and uh, unique index. Then what is that we have to do here is we have to put these uh, file names here just um, above this initial. So backward include a score gen just a array underscore gen dot sv then back over include this one is find point index dot sv and First index dot sv find last index dot sv unique index so we have included all these functions here. Let's select this um, on the viewer up room and save it. So now what I'm going to do here is I'll take first uh, uh, two because array generation is compulsorily required and find index only I will be considering. Find index only I have to consider means remaining. Find index remaining all I have to comment out here on these things. So I just comment them out. Just keeping this array gen and first index method. So let's uh, run this one. This is because so here the M in last index. So this is. Okay, so here also let's use them. Okay, now then. So now you can see this particular uh, Vera Pro did not generate any color with red. So if I change this to mentor quest or other uh, simulators available, then they may generate. So I change it to mentor quest. Huh? So now you can see this red being generated. So it is finding the all indexes means, as I already discussed every theory, how this code is functioning. If you see this array gen, total here, if you see four, uh, I mean, red with red, you can see. Four, if you are seeing here, first one, second one, third one, fourth one. So all these been assigned to here, index three, one, 
index 5, index 8, index 11. We're supposed to be seeing index 3, index 5, index 8, index 11. That we are seeing here. So this I have discussed. After discussing only, I'm just simulating and demonstrating that this is happening. So for, again, discussion is not required here. And uh, this mentor question is not uh, accessible with the Gmail account because I have used my institute uh, ID. So that's why me it is accessible. But for those who are using Gmail to simulate, if they only can access all the Rivera pro. In that case, see here. This did not generate the red. Since there is no matching with red, so here it is zero. Number of indexes having color item, zero. And number of indexes for data three. And color red. Because this color red is not there at all here that match not happened so it is again zero here all right that's how that this is result is correct anyway but just to demonstrate like with red since rivera is not generating that color i took the other simulator now let us go to the let us comment out this one let us uncomment this one. First index we have demonstrated. So let us comment this one. And let us uncomment this one. <laughs> and run. This is about for the first index, only first index. So let's take the red because we kept, otherwise we have to change this, uh, you know, code here. So in order to see this, okay, let us change the code itself. Otherwise, because it is generating green. So let's put green everywhere because everywhere I have to go and change. So I'll do one thing. I'll keep the quest itself and I will run. You people can change here wherever the red is there. Condition you change it to green because it is generating green and yellow, either one you can. So let us run with PESTA here. Now, if you see here, first index, the first index is satisfying the condition. What is the condition here we have in this first index? One is simple red. The other, this multiple condition cases, it must be equal to three and this is red. So such such a thing if you see here data must be three and must be red this is the third one third one we will see here if you see this is eighth one eighth index so here if you see here uh, that again i'm making a mistake while i was explaining i did that mistake again here also i'm doing this is the first index so first index means satisfying this condition. Mm, again, I'll uh, see greater than or equal to three, first index. Greater than or equal to three. Greater than or equal to three is happening here. Uh, here itself for data, see. Pi is greater than three. Condition is met and color is red. So this is the first index. If you see here, the very first one is uh, to three, index three to the sign. That is one thing. And the very simple condition here is item color red. That is also uh, first, uh, I mean, third index, index three to index three I'm assigning now. So that's why in the result, what we see here is index three and index three. Now let us comment out uh, this one as well. And then comment the last. Here, let us come in this section. Let us uncomment the last. And now, if you run, just ensure files. Okay.
this is some of the unable to last index last fine underscore the last index is free. You'll find what is free. Here I am using this uh, here this method only. And the file name is find underscore last underscore index. Using the correct one, the find underscore last underscore index. Oh, this is dot sv. I have kept the comma dot it is okay then. So this is, be careful, this is the last one. So it must be last index. So red, here if you see the red, this is the last. So last means in this one here, uh, this is the four, uh, four it is happening. This is, uh, you see this one, this is one, two, three, four, four means index. 11 is so I supposed to be having index 11 here. That is done. Next is um, this condition. And again, this is the last, it must be last. So data is greater than five. Yeah, that is okay. This one is not okay. This one is greater than three. This one is okay. And this one is also okay. greater than four is greater than three. And red is also there. That is also again uh, fourth one. Fourth one means again here, this 11th one only. So in the output here, it is 11. So that is done. Now unique. So to do that, go here, you can comment this one. And then I'm comment this unique. And here comment out this one. And then comment uh, this unique. Now run. So this one here. Uh, this is unique if you see. This first one is about uh, fixed array. So fixed array. If you see here, this is correct because this did not arrange here. This um, let's take this what it does is that it is arranging them in ascending order. I'll take the way of row. Contact level of also did not arrange them in ascending order. So the way they are, they are keeping them like that. What I mean is, the way they are means here, if you see this fixed array, we took this one here and uh, Yes, they are arranging here. Like, see, what I will do is this. This we understood right a while ago. I explained here how this, like, element five is at index zero, element six is at this, for this fixed array, for this fixed array elements. So now, if I arrange them in uh, ascending order, these elements here. How do I arrange them in ascending order? First two will come, then three, then four, then five, then after five, six, after six, ten will come. Right? Now, 
let's put the indexes here. Two index, if you see here. Two index is three. So put the three. Card element index is four. So put the four. Fourth element index is five. Put the five. Uh, fifth element. Fifth element index is zero. Sixth element index. This one is one. And tenth element index is seven. So now if you see here, three, four, five, three, four, five, zero, one. And uh, two we are missing out. Index two. Index two is oh nine we missed out here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, after 6, 9 will come, right? So, 9 means uh, 9, element 9, element 9 index is 2. So, now it is correct, 0, 1, 2, 7. So, now these indexes have come based on these elements having arranged them in ascending order. See? Elements been uh, arranged in ascending order and their indexes now you can see them. So that's how the uh, unique uh, index uh, uh, method is working. Now, if you come to this unix index method, now this is done static, uh, this uh, static array we have discussed. Uh, this ARR is a static. Now coming to this one item, ADDR address, that must be unique. So that must be unique means ADDR here in the generator. Four, four repeated twice. So it must be like seven, one, four, and then five. Seven is first one, index three that is. That is here. The first one is here, index three. Second one is index 5. Third one is index 8. Oh, this will not be considered because this 11, again, like this index is not unique at, in, at, at index 11. We do not have unique this one. This 4 already ha had come. So this will not be considered. So it means what? First, second, third. Meaning first, second, third. This will not be considered. Then this one, 15th one. So our indexes are 3, 5, 8, and 15. Let's see here. Indexes are. Here, element 5 index. 3 is not considered 1. Data item here is address. Address is uh, the item that is that must be ha having the unique. There is no other expression as well. Well, this is unique also. Okay, let's do the analysis. Index five has come okay according to our expectation. Five, eight also there. Fifteen also there. Uh, three also we just now evaluated. Only 11 wasn't there in our evaluation. So here also it's not there. But it is a, it has arranged them. Five, eight. This address this is one. Address is one. Oh, okay. In a way. You see, this is correct what we have done. This this has arranged in ascending address C1, and then 4, then 5, then 7. 7, this will be there at index 3, right? We see, I uh, will again try to explain. This first generated one, where it will sit? It will sit in this index, right? First one. So this address, how simulator is working, it is going last, right, while printing. 
So what it is going last means what is the power index there? Three. So that is correct. Next is this one will be sitting at this uh, index by right. In ascending order, it is arranging means which uh, index it will come five will be the first one. First index will be in the print. It will be five. See, this is the first index. Next is second one is this one four. Four minus second. Uh, I mean third one is four. Here first seven gone. Second this one gone. The third fourth will come. So meaning in the eighth index eight this one will come four. Since it is arranging in ascending order, so after one four will come. And four will come means eight index eight. So after five, we see the index eight. After four, five will come. Five will come means eleventh index will not be there anyway. We discussed fifteenth will be there. In fifteenth, what will sit? This five will sit. So in ascending order, it is doing here. So one, four, five. Five means index fifteen. So that's how we have to understand, evaluate this one. I repeat this one. Here, this is static array. This also be careful here. This is how it is arranging. It is arranging first elements in ascending order. Then their indexes are printed out. And same thing is happening to even this address. It is finding those indexes and returning. Uh, but this element that it is comparing, it is comparing in ascending order. Like here you can see area one, then four, then five, then seven. But in generation, it is like in any order they've been generated because it, because of this randomize. Randomize will not see like ascending, descending. So it has generated it in some random fashion. But this method is taking that care. Like it is arranging them in ascending order. Here you can see this is the address one, then address four, then address five, then address seven. What care we have to take while we check this index, which we should be careful. Like this is address for one, it is coming. Where this address one actually here in the generator in the second position, right? Second position means it is like here when we are uh, assigning this uh, randomly generated to the second means here. Na? This is the second, meaning index 5. So index 5 will be printed out first here. That is what I'm saying. Okay. So with that, we have uh, concluded even the simulation part. So let, let's stop our discussion here. As I said, maybe another two or three recordings will be for covering these array ordering methods, reduction methods, and iterator index querying. Then we will uh, complete in another two or three videos. So, okay, then if any doubts are there, kindly post them in comment section. Thank you.